Hello, it's uh, Kurt Keating with Fluke Corporation. Uh, we're here today to introduce you to the Fluke FEV100. What's unique about this is the ability to be able to plug into an electric charging station, uh, type one or type two. And yes, we can also hook up to the Tesla versions as well. And we can hook up our external meters like our Fluke 125B scope meter and our 87.5 multimeter to be able to document that this AV charging station is in fact working. So this is the Fluke FEV100. Uh, this is a EV charging station adapter. It would plug into your, uh, your adapter that you have either in your home or if you're on the road or if you are trying to operate or maintain EV charging stations. The idea, the concept is we're going to bring all the connection points to a point where we can plug our tested meters in here. So for example, my 87.5 which are now measuring AC voltage going into this adapter is plugged into these two points in the front. As you can see, uh, we have a green light on here that we're ready. We have 122 volts here, and the charging station itself is, in fact, plugged in and charging. So that's my first verification. Is the system getting 120 volts? Second would be a pretest to test do I have a ground. So by using my finger and my body, believe it or not, we can actually test to make sure we have an actual ground. How we would know it would not would be this would fault and I would also get a red light would uh, light up. And that's important because obviously we don't want anybody getting shocked on the outside of that uh, metal enclosure that the EV charging stations are typically housed in. What additionally we're going to be able to do is check what's called the GFCI. And what the GFCI basically is, is a device that's going to fault my uh, charging station and, uh, and make it uh, check its GFCI or ground fault uh, interrupt test, which is very similar to the outlet you have in your bathroom or your kitchen. Additionally, we're going to come over here and we're going to change states. So these are what's called control pilot states. So does my EV charging station have a cooling fan in it or not? That's why we have C and D here. And these three other positions, A and B, uh, a B positive, B negative, are going to be different ways we're going to see the output of this charging station in terms of the way it controls uh, the vehicle charging. So here's the 87.5 multimeter. A lot of you might be very familiar with this. This is a long-standing product. We have high accuracy, the ability to measure uh, AC voltage. We can also measure things like frequency. We can also measure things like duty cycle, which is actually one of the measurements we're looking to, uh, to use this on this uh, FEV100 charging adapter. Again, for the most part, a lot of times we're verifying the initial AC voltage. In this case, it's 122 volts. Do we have the proper amount of voltage? coming into the charging station through that adapter behind me. So now that allows us an actual physical place to place our test leads and go test that. Uh, coming over here is the Fluke 125B scope meter. It's an auto ranging scope. What we're primarily using it for is to actually look at the, uh, the waveforms that are coming out of what's called the control pilot. Control pilot is basically control signal that uh, goes between the uh, connection to the charger and the car to tell each other when we're ready to charge. We want to look at two things. We want to look at the frequency of that signal, and we want to look at the voltage amplitude of that signal. And depending where it falls in both of those two domains, we know if we've got the proper signaling coming out of the control pilot signal. So that's why we use a scope. So there are basically four positions for the charging state. Again, this CP or control pulse is really the way that a charging station controls and communicates with your electric vehicle. The beauty of uh, this particular scope meter is the fact that it is also a wireless hotspot, what's called Fluke Connect. So here's what we have, gang, the ability to pull that information wirelessly and paperlessly to my phone. So it's a Wi-Fi hotspot in the mobile app that I'm connected to and showing my phone right now is called Fluke Connect. We uh, have had this on the market for about 15 years now. That application is free, iPhone, Droid phone, iPad and uh, any kind of tablet that you might have. The equipment itself, the FEV100 is operated as a single offering by itself with no meters as an option, with the 87.5 as an option, or with the 87.5 and the 125B as an option. And we prefer this kit because this allows us to start the document again, wirelessly and paperlessly. That's the Fluke FEV100 and the associated pieces of test equipment from Fluke that can help you document uh, that this workstation uh, and EV charger station is in fact working. So for more information, contact uh, tequipment.net and your T-Equipment seller can certainly help you out with any questions you might have. Thank you for your time.